All right, this video is, um, it's an interesting video. Right now, the sports, uh, it's, it's at loggerheads. It's at loggerheads with Devin Larratt over the strap. Um, <laughs> uh, whether you are a fan of the strap or not, uh, we're at a place where this conversation needs to be had. This conversation needs to uh, be talked about and understood from all sides of the coin. Now, if you've missed it, um, King of the Table 1, auto strap after 30 seconds. King of the Table 2, same again, but King of the Table 3, we've just had it. Uh, I changed the rule. Instead of the auto strap after 30 seconds, they went to ref script. Now, obviously, Devin Larratt and Levard Seconds for the King of Table 4. This has opened up a can of worms. Devin um, has put up a poll. I'll, I'll show you the poll here. There it is. Two days ago on his YouTube channel, he asked the question, if you're going to have an arm wrestling match for any reason, you would like to start with strap. Do you have that right? Is it a fair request for a match to start in a strap? This is not what you think the rules are, but what you think they should be. And 40% agreed with Devin. Yes, you should have the right to strap. 60% say no. Um, we're going we're gonna to unpack this. We're going to explain what Devin's really asking here. Explain why he's asking it and address the controversy. Now, of course, a um, lot of pushback on this towards Devin. A lot of ridicule going on in arm wrestling forums. Uh, the Eastern block of fans laughing a lot. <laughs> but we'll get to it. We'll explain it why. Now, Levan saying this really has put out a response as well. You can see that one here. He says, hello world. Too many people had written me, so I wanted to comment on the drama. There are no rules mentioned in the contract that I've signed, especially auto strap. So it's not true. We had to meet and agree on them afterwards. We're seeing how rules have changed for King of the Table 3. For our match, rules are set to suit and help Devon exclusively. My sport is called arm wrestling, not strap wrestling. You have to earn the strap. If you can slip from the hand of your opponent, apparently... He will not pull me without the auto strap rule because he thinks it can save him from me. I will pull him within his requirements and needs. And if you think I'm worried, good for you. The response from Levan Sagan is really, obviously Levan um, highlights a couple of interesting points there and, and about the, the, the contract. Now, I want to touch on this first and foremost. I have a contract for King of the Table. Um, I'm set to face Rob Vision Jr. at this same event, King of the Table 4. And... Uh, there's two truths going on here. And I think we need to understand and interpret them the correct way because a lot of people are getting it wrong. A lot of people are seeing it differently. A lot of people are saying people are lying, yada, yada, yada. Here's the reality of it, ladies and gentlemen. There is nowhere in the contract that specifies the rules. I'll say that again. Nowhere in the contract are the rules specified. So in one sense, in one legalistic sense, in the black and white sense, Levan Saganish really is absolutely right. There are no rules written in the contract it's all just other marketing and legal representation things and all that sort of stuff but <laughs> here's the thing there is an argument uh and this is the angle that i believe devon Larratt sees it at it's the same angle that i see it at when i talk about my match with rob Vision jr is at the time of signing the contract at the time of agreeing to face each other at a king of the table event the rules were auto strap after 30 seconds so it's fair to say that the agreed match at the time of signing contracts was under those conditions. For the rules to change then, afterwards, uh, to me, that's no good. Look, if the rules change from here forward, everyone that signs a contract from here forward, sure, run it that way. But I, I can very much see the argument that, hey, look, when the contracts were signed, the rules were as such. Auto strap after 30 seconds. Now they're doing the ref script thing. Okay, so in the in the sense of who's lying, I don't think anyone's lying. I think they're both being factual. Uh, Levan, certainly truth. And I can verify it. Undeniably, I can verify that there's no rules in the contract. But Devin, absolutely, in the respect that he's talking about it, I agree 100%. Like I said, I have a match with Royal Vision Jr. at the same event. And we signed, when we signed an agreement to face each other, those rules existed. Auto strap after 30 seconds. But that's another topic. So, 
You have to ask yourself the question, why? Why is this going on? Uh, what is the deal? Now, I'll tell you a little story uh, that might shed some light onto, onto the why behind this. Okay, Levan says that this is the rules have been designed to advantage Devon. Uh, and there is truth to that as well. But there is a bigger picture to that. Devon Larratt has been a representative of the sport. Uh, he's the most influential man in arm wrestling for a long time. Um, always for the better, in my opinion, too. I don't think he's influenced it negatively once. I think Devon is always, uh, he's on the enlightened path. Now, arm wrestling is at a point in the world, it's at a point at, as a sport where we are, the fan base is growing dramatically. We need to nurture that fan base. We need to make sure that fan base is respected and given a product that they're actually going to enjoy and, and, and it is naturally and organically going to continue to grow. We need to evolve the sport for that to happen. Now, let me expand on the story. Um, Devin Larratt came to Australia in 2014, my first 12 months in the sport, and he said to me, Ryan, focus on the strap. Spend 95%. In fact, maybe even spend all of your time training in the strap because that's where the sport's going. The sport will go to a strap-only situation okay, for a number of reasons. But that's where it's going. I took his word for it. I train in the strap exclusively. Still to this day, 98% of my table time in the strap. And then the why. Okay, why? Why is that? Okay, We come back to the expansion of the sport. The sport is expanding right now at a rate that is the, the best we've ever seen. The internet is allowing these platforms. The sport is expanding. We want to keep this going. I went to the WAF World Championships in 2015 and I was too bored to even go watch the finals. As per probably 70% of the arm wrestlers there didn't watch the finals. We're off having dinner or something instead. Why? It's boring. So many matches are won and lost on fouls. Uh, the pace of the matches are slow because of the nature of the setups and the nature of the stop-start rule system in place. I went to... The Zloty Tour in 2019, and I was privileged to see the top eight finals where Levan Sagnashvili took on uh, Vitaly Laletin amongst another, amongst another raft of matches that were uh, in that top eight tournament. Once again, it was boring. It's hard to believe, but it was boring. It was boring because it went for so long. The setups, the starts, the slips, the rests in between, the fouls, horribly boring. 80% of the arm wrestlers that were in Poland for the IFA World Championships and the Zloty Tour did not watch it. They all went, had pizza instead, went to the pub. I didn't watch it, ladies and gentlemen. If arm wrestlers aren't watching it because they get bored, fans are going to be feeling the same way, if not worse. The sport needs to evolve for the better. The sport will grow more if we entertain fans better. Strap arm wrestling entertains fans better why it cuts out so many nonsense fouls so many S fouls with technicalities on was he holding on or not as he slipped one of the worst rules for entertainment possible horrible micro elbow fouls stopping and restarting one of the worst rules possible for entertainment okay get rid of those two rules start in the strap Right off the bat, entertainment goes through the roof. Energy goes through the roof. Matches with running fouls go through the roof. We see pins. We see everything. You don't even need to go with the all slips go to strap. Just go to the strap. Straight off the bat, tie the two competitors together, face each other. Entertainment is through the roof. Consistently through the roof. Have running fouls, it's through the roof. Add to it a professional foul. So if the running foul is extreme, it's just that stopped. But just have running fouls, start in the straps. This is the best thing for the sport from an entertainment perspective. I understand that all the purists of the sport will hate this. They want to hold on to everything that was arm wrestling. But if we're talking about from an entertainment perspective, strap arm wrestling is where it's at. Now, Levan and other people... And uh, many others that aren't in agreement with what I've just mentioned are going to say, as Levan did mention, this is this match, King of the Table 4, it's just being set to advantage Devon. Yes, it is an advantage to Devon. And yes, if I face Rob under these same rules, it's an advantage to me. And that is the case because people like myself, people like Devon, 
have been training exclusively in straps. And we're doing that because we think and anticipate that the sport will eventually realize strap arm wrestling is more entertaining and it's going there. At the end of the day, dollars are going to win. The dollars come from the fans, ladies and gentlemen. It comes from the people watching and enjoying the sport and they want entertainment. Levan against Devon will not be entertaining if they don't start in the strap. It will be 6-0 to Levan with Devon fouling out on every round as he attempts to slip. He will be unable to slip and he'll foul in the process of getting the slip. Okay, Devon will not just grip up and lose. He will do everything he can to win, so he will attempt as best he can to slip without fouling, but he will have to fail to do it. Is that how you want the match to go? Hmm. Some say yes. Some say that is how I want the match to go. It's the way it should be. It's rigid rules. It's arm wrestling. But what do the fans do? This is the world's most watched arm wrestling match and probably will stay that way for a long time to come. Do you want it to be that? Or do you want it to be in the straps with drama and a battle? Think about it. Anyway, that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. That's the perspective that we all need to understand uh, when it comes to this drama with the Devin Larratt strap saga. Anyway, Rob, if you're watching, auto strap you and me.